Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Objects 13 for part 5 of Module 1. And continuing with the theme of inexplicably one problem long lessons, we've got get sum of all elements at property. So these should be pretty well practiced for you at this point. Uh, first we're going to sort out the edge cases. And the edge cases for this are if object at key is equal to undefined. I'm going to return, what do they want us to return? Zero. If array dot is array of object at key is equal to false, meaning we do not have an array where we want to have an array, and we're just going to return zero. Now, uh, dissimilar to dissimilarly, I'm not sure if that's a word. Anyway, previously we did one where we had get a product of all elements of property, and that was one where we needed to check to make sure that the um, that the array had some values inside of it, otherwise we would return zero. In this case, we're going to return zero, and it's the same uh, same edge case, but for our purposes, that's not going to change what we're going to do next. We're going to just going to create a uh, variable sum, set it equal to zero, and then we're going to return sum at the end. If there is, If there are no elements in the array of, over which we're about to iterate, then sum will just remain at zero, so we don't need to add in an extra edge case like we did for product. Anyway, object at key dot length, uh, plus plus, and we're going to set sum plus equals object at key at i. So check the edge cases, create a sum variable, return the sum variable at the end, iterate over all of the elements in the objects array, in the array inside of the object, and then uh, set sum to be whatever sum was plus the next value. And run our tests, and we're correct. Excellent work, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.